Hi guys, it's Patricia, your independent Sensi consultant from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Today I'm bringing to you a different kind of video that I normally do. It's a what I've been warming and a melting basket combined, but it's focusing on bricks. And what I'm going to do is talk to you about the bricks that I warmed in the winter stage and then what ones I'm going to warm for spring. And it's just something that I'd like to do because if I empty a brick, I talk about it once, but obviously bricks take a while to go through. So what we're going to do is go through, I think I probably have about 15 bricks that I've been working on the past winter, and then we'll do a few that are in my melting basket. So let's start with one is that, that is currently available in the catalog in bar form. I only have one cube left of this, and it is apple butter frosting, an old brick, and yes, it definitely tints the back of your clamshell. And I also don't have the scent notes, but I will put them down below for every fragrance. Oh, but this is so good. It's like basically vanilla buttercream with a nice slight salt, um, not salty, a little bit of cinnamon spiced apple. Very gentle. Apple butter is actually like when they take apples and they just kind of cook them down very slowly and they become super concentrated. So if you took that and then added it to vanilla frosting, this is what you would probably get. So a very gentle spice. This is a superb performer. I'll probably put this in my warmer tomorrow just to use it up so you'll see it in my empties as well. That is apple butter frosting. I would love to see that come back in a brick. If that scent ever gets discontinued, I will be adding it to my Scentsy Club. No questions asked. Okay, another one from the fall and winter last season that you could get in bar form. I finished another row. I usually do things one row at a time. Sometimes more than that, but this is Caramel Vanilla Delight. Now there's some damage here, which is probably why I've worked my way up from the bottom. But Caramel Vanilla Delight is a soft, rich caramel scent. It has vanilla ice cream, it has a caramel note, and it also has rum. Now some people don't really like the rum. I'm okay with it. Um, what I usually do with my bricks is when I've decided I'm going to use them, I actually just cut along a, a hump here and then down, I score. Then I pop out a cube, I cut it into thirds or halves or sometimes quarters, I put it right back in and then I do that for each square. And I usually only cut one row at a time. And if you want to see a video of how I chop my bricks, I will link it in the description box below. But it does keep it very neat and tidy. It doesn't get crumbly that way. So I encourage you to look that up. I think I have more of that brick. I think I have another brick. So the other thing is I decided not to do a brick video because it's just overwhelming. But by doing this way, you guys can see some of the bricks that I do have and what I've been, I've been warming. So the next one is this one here. I used up another row this winter and it is one of my favorite scents and it was one that came back in the Bring Back My Bar, but here it is in brick form. This is Blue Christmas and I frigging love this scent. It's kind of a little bit of a masculine Christmas scent to me, like a clean, oh, I love it. People either love this one or they don't, but this is a clean Christmas tree scent. I always describe it like a Christmas tree with like shaving cream. That's what I get. And those are not the notes at all. The notes are something like cinnamon and clove and uh, I don't know, maybe orange zest and pine, something to that effect, fir. But, but yeah, I get Christmas tree and a beautiful clean scent with it. I love it. It's nice and strong. Definite repurchase for me. And you'll probably see a few bars coming up in a haul. <laughs> that is Blue Christmas. On the Christmas vibe, I finished up another row of the red wax from Christmas Cottage. This one here, I like the scent. It's a good solid scent. Oh, so yummy. It does tint the back of the clamshell. Um, would you still call this a clamshell or would you call it something else? I guess it would be a giant clamshell, a brick clamshell. Um, this one does tint it red. Uh, this one reminds me of a nice, sweet, cinnamon holiday fragrance like you get a raspberry and an orange together with cinnamon and a little bit of clove and some other spices but very cinnamon present on this scent and it's a pretty good performer i would say it's fairly strong and it does last a fair amount of time and i think that's why christmas cottage is so well loved and kind of finishing up that year i think of bricks i had finished up another line another row of cranberry and tinsel now this to me is one of the stronger Scentsy scents that we have. I find this one very, very strong. And you can see 
how by me scoring it, you get very crisp lines here. So that's what I like to do. Um, and when I'm going to use it again, I just do, like I said, I prepare one line and then I'm ready to go. For this one here, it's very heavy on the mulled cranberry, like mulling spices and that deep, rich cranberry, very, very heavy. Um, probably closest to, is it Cranberry Woods from Bath and Body Works? Like if you were gonna have another company scent that you could compare, compare this to. The other one's Frosted Cranberry. It's not really like that one. Um, this one is very strong and I use it sparingly because it is very, very strong. And I actually prefer it like after it's died down a little bit and that's Cranberry and Tinsel. Very well loved. Okay, from this year's brick, I finished up a line of very snowy spruce. This one here I, I rather enjoy. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but I was okay with it. And it's a nice Christmas tree scent, really good for like December. I use this, this a lot in December and early January. So that is very snowy spruce. That you could get available in bar form. And it actually retired, not retired, it went on back order. And so I would suggest if you are a very snowy spruce fan, when the fall and winter season comes up, maybe pick up a bar early in the season because you don't want to be warming a bar wanting to warm a bar and then all of a sudden it goes on back order because everybody is in the same boat so just try to be prepared. I finished a line of caramel sugar cookie over the last winter season and this is a very sweet caramel rich buttery scent. like like this will give you a toothache oh and we have a, we have a breakage yeah this is very very sweet this one is not my favorite but I get through it no problem I actually enjoy it kind of after about a couple hours or maybe it's three or four I'm not sure but but not right away I kind of like it to die down a little bit and then I I rather enjoy this one and it's pretty strong um, not super long lasting but pretty strong um, I finished up the top three cubes of candy cane wishes and this is a favorite of mine I love this one it's very very nice if you like peppermint scents candy cane scents with vanilla this one has a little bit of musk in it Oh, so it's almost like if you took Peppermint Rush from Scentsy from years past and mixed it with Silver Bells. That's what it kind of reminds me of. I love this one. I don't love it as much as Silver Bells, but I really enjoy this. And what happens is it kind of goes in two phases. You get the Peppermint Candy Cane prominent first, and then that kind of dies off, and then you get the musky, creamy, kind of soft mint, and then that stays around a long time. So if you put this in a bedroom, you can get a lot of life out of Candy Cane Wishes. I hope that one comes back this year. It deserves to come back. If it doesn't, I would be shocked. So I finished up the top row of this one, and this is Sugar Plum Berry, and look at the pretty purple color. Now this one here was surprisingly not as well received as it might have been because people were kind of expecting something, and then it smelled a little bit different. I think they were expecting a very plum rich scent, and it doesn't really smell a lot like plums to me. I don't have the scent notes, but to me, this smells, and I will put them down below, this smells a lot like blue Christmas, but meets maybe black raspberry from the black raspberry vanilla bar. Um, I definitely get that kind of vibe, a berry rich vibe with the blue Christmas, which is like a soapy, clean, you know, Christmas tree scent. And this sucker will blow you out of the house. If you like strong scents and you, this one comes back, definitely pick it up. Now, one thing I've noticed is the bricks this year, like, they don't click together as well. I'm not really sure why that is. <laughs> They're hard to click together. All right. Let's talk a little bit about, I have four more that I've been warming. This one I have a million bricks up because I really like it. And I've kind of got one row and part, part of another one. And this is cinnamon chai latte. And this is like the chai spices, the cinnamon, and like the frothy milk. Oh, I really, really like this one. Again, I think you have to like cinnamon to like this. And some people don't like the frothy milk. They're kind of scared of that. But this is one that the people that like it really, really like it. And the people that don't really don't. But I, I like this. You'll see this quite often coming up for me. And it, it does well in a smaller zone. It's not super long lasting, but it does well in smaller rooms. So I'll, I warm this in my entrance way, which is an enclosed space. I warm it here in my bedroom. I don't really warm it a lot of places because um, my daughter doesn't love this type of scent, so I wouldn't warm it in her room. I'd probably warm it in the bonus room and maybe my son's room, but I really like it, so sometimes I just keep it for myself. Um, I finished up two and a bit uh, rows of ginger and spruce. 
This one here, I think I have one more brick after this. And this one here does not really smell to me like the scent notes. Sorry about the yelling. This, he's, he's such, my youngest is such a loud talker and I told him to be quiet. Anyway, ginger and spruce reminds me of like a wintry soft spearmint gum. That's what I get. I get like a almost like it's not a, an intense smear, spearmint like something when you smell mad about mint. It's definitely not like that. It's almost like a dried ginger with a wintergreen and a gum. And that's what I smell. And boy, oh boy, does this ever last. It lasts so, so long. And it's a fairly strong one, but it lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. And I'm not crazy about this scent, so I usually warm it in my overnight warmers because it's a nice, gentle, pleasant scent. I don't love it, but I'm going to use it up slowly that way. And I like to have something warming through the house just always. So... We do have a couple warmers I leave on at night that kind of help light up my stairs and so that I put ginger and spruce in there. So I haven't used very much of this and I damaged this brick by dropping it. If you drop a brick, you're gonna break it and sometimes they break and travel, which annoys people. But if they're not broken badly, you can still, as long as scent is, everything's kind of sealed in, you're okay. And this is vanilla bean buttercream. So I haven't used very much. I've used one cube plus a little bit. And this one is in the catalog right now, and I have quite a bit of this because you can't really go wrong. You, I can use this to mix. Now, this one did get a little um, beat up um, probably when I dropped it. Yeah, I, I mean, I love vanilla base scents. This is not my favorite vanilla base scent, but it's a really rich bakery vanilla, creamy room filling. Very, very nice saturating vanilla scent and good mixer. That is vanilla bean buttercream. And I mix these two together a lot. Like if, I, if I'm going to mix this, I add this. <laughs> So that is Vanilla Bean Buttercream. And another one I've been working on recently, because this one to me doesn't really seem like a very wintry scent. So as we are transitioning into spring, I've been warming a lot of this. And it is Blizzardberry. Now, despite the name, it is a very fruity, slightly perfumey scent to me. Um, this one almost would, you could almost mix something like this with a fizzy pop and get away with it because it has that little note to it that reminds me of that. Um, this one here, I had it going downstairs for quite a while. It's one of those scents that you think it's done and then you come back and you can still smell it. So Blizzard Berry, I'll, I'll continue to warm this. My daughter likes it. I like it. So it won't go to waste. I'll, I'll be working on these two cubes coming up. So those are all the bricks that I warmed. So actually that brings us to part two, which is my spring melting basket. So what I'm going to keep in the melting basket, I'm going to finish off the Blizzard Berry. I'm going to finish off at least one row of vanilla bean buttercream and try to even do a second row. I'm going to finish off this row of ginger and spruce because this scent does not really scream winter time to me. It's a, a year round scent in my opinion. And same with this cinnamon chai latte, not quite a winter only scent. So I'll finish off this and maybe even another row. We'll see. But the bricks that I pulled that I want to work on. Now this one here is a wintry type scent. It looks like a wintry type scent, but again, I like it all year round and I wanna get through a little bit of it. It's this beautiful minty blue wax and it is Olaf. I don't know if you can see Olaf there, Olaf Warm Hugs. This is such a nice bedroom and bathroom scent. I would stay away from open concept layouts for this, but this is so nice. It's like a vanilla and a mintiness and a slight woodsy fragrance. It's very, very nice. I think he's coming. He's talking to himself. Anyway, I might get interrupted. If I pause the video, <laughs> it's because I get interrupted. Okay. Another brick that I want to work on. This one's full, but I have cut... One moment. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I've cut the first top two rows of this one, and it is the spring brick from three years ago, I think, Peach and White Amber. This scent is a light scent, but this is a perfect time of year for me to start warming it. And so you can kind of see I've got it. Some of them cut in half and some of them cut in thirds. And it's a very pretty scent. I, and I'm using this in lotion right now and I love it. I just wish it was a little bit stronger and sometimes it's hit or miss where it works for me in my home. If it gets remotely hot in my house, I cannot smell this. So it needs to be kind of like a cooler. It can't be cold, but it needs to be like springtime cool for me to smell peach and white amber. So anyway, I have another spring brick from a couple years ago, but this one I think I got from a like a a scentsy deal and you'll probably see that this is very sweaty I'll show you yeah this is bergamot and solar driftwood but this is a scent that I really grew to love 
Um, sometimes it's funny how things happen. You kind of really grow to love a scent and then you're, you're out and then it was discontinued. But this one is very nice. I think it's the driftwood that I really like. And bergamot is kind of a cologne scent. So this is a little bit on the masculine side. It's got like um, oranges of uh, some sort, like tangerines, clementine, something like that. Yeah, I really like this one. I have a customer that loves this. So if bergamot and solar drift, whatever comes back, she'll definitely be stocking up. So I'm going to work on that. I'd like to get one or two rows done. I've decided I'm going to work on sugar. Because sugar is... Um, it might come back and bring back my bar, but I'm lucky enough to have a couple bricks of this. And this is a great mixer. I'm actually going to try mixing this with poppy fields on the advice of, I think it was, was it Miranda or Melinda? I'm not sure which of the two mentioned this, but anyway, I'm going to definitely mix poppy fields with this. And I love this on its own. It's probably in my top 10 Scentsy fragrances. This is uh, cotton candy and lemon drops, and I love it. It's somewhat close to Aqualina's Pink Sugar, but Pink Sugar from Vendor Wax is slightly different than this, I find, but this I really, really like. It's strong. It's kind of deceiving because when I cut these cubes, I could smell sugar on my hands for like, like an hour. Like, I, and I didn't even, I decided I wasn't going to wash them because I just like the sugar smell. <laughs> but as, as we all know, we've been washing our hands like crazy, so it was probably a good time to do the soap challenge. If you, haven't, if you haven't started the soap challenge that I put out, check out my empties video from February. And you can start at any time. We're not going to talk about it until the end of May. So still have a couple, two and a half months to go. Anyway, I'm going to work on this row plus maybe another line of the Red Wax of Strawberry Daiquiri Disco. This was two, two years ago in the brick collection. We did not have spring bricks last year. Yeah, this is a very candy, reminds me of um jello powder mix the powder strawberry jello mix that's very strong what i get and i don't really get a strong alcohol note but um my husband really likes this scent just as a side note he usually doesn't comment about scents but he, he says he likes that one and i'm going to finish um this line and maybe even another line we'll see of pina colada cha cha now this is all i have of this scent but it is available in bar form this year and it's a nice, authentic, creamy pineapple. It's got a little bit of rum in it, but you don't really get the rum note. So if you're kind of nervous about trying it because of that note, I wouldn't let it deter you. This is kind of like a virgin pina colada. <laughs> a virgin pina colada, but very authentic, creamy. Yeah, makes you think like you're down south without being down south anyway that is it that is my melting basket my previous few months of bricks that i've warmed i like doing these kind of videos maybe if you guys like them too let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you have any questions for me please let me know down in the comments below my sensi link is down in the description box should you need to purchase anything from my site and take care i will see you guys in the next video